Hello, 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 Dog Squad. This is going to be a short one. This is more going to be more of an updated one if you want to get even more parasocial with me, just because I don't have much to talk about this week. There are a few topics, but one, I'm a little bit hungover, and two, I still hear ringing in my ears because the club we were at last night had, it was impossible to talk to anybody because of how loud the music is. And as I'm speaking, all I can hear is this, if you know what tinnitus is, it's like that, but even worse. And I'm just not feeling like I want to take. I, I want. I want to. I want to save a good topic for next week when perhaps I'm not feeling as shit. Um, I've got a couple of topics I'll talk about, but I want to be in a 100% state of mind. So for now, let's talk about science. I just want to do a little bit of an update one. I want to let you know where I'm at. Yeah, after last week's vid, which was quite popular. Putting out that video, I am glad I did it. It did cover some deeply personal stuff, and I did feel bad, me not mentioning anyone specific, but just the fact that I told, made that public, I felt bad about that in some capacity. But seeing the response people got to it made me really quite happy. I read through every single comment on that video, and what everyone was saying was so nice, it seemed to resonate a lot. I haven't, I honestly haven't seen myself have such a Oh, that sounds a bit boastful. But just such a positive impact. I just, just seeing all the comments, everyone kind of banding together in the comments was really quite lovely. And that's why I did want to make it public, uh, the details, just because I think it was necessary to frame everything right. And just seeing the response it got was like incredible, to be honest. There were so many really long comments people wrote out and it just really seemed... I don't know, it just seemed like a really nice moment. So whilst I am, I do feel bad for making those details public because I don't think it's fully fair to people involved, which is 100% fair, and I am sorry for that. Ultimately, I think it was for a net good in the world. Uh, just seeing everyone's comments, it just, it was really nice. And if you commented, I appreciate it. I read through all of them, even if I didn't respond or reply, but it was really, really nice. And I just wanted to say that, that it was something deeply personal, and yeah, I, I do feel a little bad for bringing it up. But like again, ultimately, I think it was for the betterment. Everyone kind of... Like, Kind of heard it. You can hear my full story. You can see all my other past videos with the framework of that now, which I think could be interesting. I might even do that. <laughs> just feed myself away and go look at my old ones and be like, huh, I know where my mindset was at that stage. But basically, all I want to talk about this week is just kind of like a bit of... I'm in a... I don't say I'm in a rush. I'm in kind of like a, a slight adjustment phase. Let me explain. Um, so I've been running every three times a week, every week for the past... Oh, I want to say 12 weeks, 10 weeks. And my running's actually been getting really, really good. But on my run last Friday, I could feel my like shin on my right leg was starting to kind of give out. And I was like, oh, I could keep running. Not keep running. I finished the run. And I was like, I'm going to run again on Monday. But it came around on Monday and I was like, ooh, this is an injury in the making. So I haven't run this week. I skipped three runs this week. Not skipped. It was for a good reason. But um, I just realized when I think it might be exercise is the most core thing. When my exercising goes to shit, if I'm not doing a strenuous workout or a strenuous form of cardio consistently during a week, it feels like my life falls apart around me routine wise. I was just like, I wasn't I wasn't walking as much. My diet wasn't as good. Um, and things just start falling apart a bit. So I'm wondering if this applies to anyone else. I think the main one's exercise. If I'm not doing my consistent exercise, it just, it feels like that's the, usually the main catalyst for my, um, good habits kind of fading away for a bit. So I really am looking for tomorrow. I'm going to try run tomorrow. I'm not super optimistic because my right shin is still not feeling great, but I'm going to see how it goes after the run tomorrow and go from there. But yeah, I've just noticed exercise is my biggest thing that keeps me in like a good framework. If I'm not doing my consistent exercise and I'm not doing my good editing, I'm not doing my reading and meditating. Uh, that's been atrocious this week for me. But yeah, you yeah, know, I just want to tell you where I'm at. I want to I let you guys know that I'm bloody human as hell. I preach all this shit, but I struggle like fuck with habits sometimes. I'm by no means perfect. That's kind of what I want to talk about this week. I was just like, I don't know. I don't want you to watch my videos and be like, Damn, El Maxo is truly the shining light of good change in the world. He's so consistent with his habits. He just does everything right and he's perfect because no, 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 and no. I think I've only had like four days this year where I've stuck to my routine perfectly. So just want to let you know that, that uh, self-help kind of takes a while. Uh, I can't really get perfect. I've only been on it for a year, you know? If you think of someone who works out for a year, yeah, they'll have a nice physique, but like... It takes like five, six, seven. It takes a lot, of, a lot of years of practice to get really good at something. So I'm still learning. I've still got a lot of experience to do. So if you're struggling, don't beat yourself too up hard about it because fuck, it's just going to take a bit of time, isn't it? That's the main thing I want to talk about this week. But uh, I'm on a new challenge with a friend. We're doing a 60 day thing. Um, so that's 54 days now. It's been a week or about to be 53. Actually, I'll make them public here so I can hold myself accountable. I want to go down to 72 kilos. I wrote them in my Discord. Join my Discord, by the way. Wink, wink. 72 kilos. Uh, I had 260k subs and I want to run a 10k at like not a super fast pace, but like a decent pace, like maybe a, like a five minute K pace, the whole 10, the whole 10 Ks, so maybe even a bit fast, like a 450. If I can do that, I'd be super happy. That's my, my three goals. I've set some mini goals. Maybe you could do them too. Maybe we could all do like a big group thing. I think it's April 13th. I think it's April 13th is when it's finished. So how about, maybe you can do that. Maybe we can all do like a little goal setting thing. Get in my Discord, set some goals for April 13th and we'll see who hits them and who doesn't, you know? But no, to be honest, I just have a short one this week. I'm feeling a bit shitty. 
So sorry, this isn't the greatest, most profound thoughts I can give you right now, but it is what it is. Sometimes you have a late night, you drink a lot. Uh, <laughs> you know, uh, I, it is what it is. <laughs> so I'll give you a better one next week. But no, uh, actually I finished a book this week. I can talk about that. I finished a book, I Will Teach You To Be Rich by Ramit, Ramit Sethi. Not sure if I'm saying his name right. That's good. I've always been really interested in personal finance. I almost made a video today about personal finance, but I realized I'm just... Like, I think I know a fair bit. I know a good chunk. Relative to the average person, I know a shit ton about personal finance, but I still don't feel qualified myself to tell people about it. So I would recommend reading up on personal finance. I might do a video in the future on it because I think it's so important to have financial literacy if you want to set yourself up for a good financially secure life. But yeah, I would if I'd recommend looking into that if you're... You know, this book was good. I'll teach you to be rich, but just anything finance, finance related can be good. What to invest in savings wise, yada, yada, yada. It can be good. That can be good. So if you haven't, that's one aspect I haven't touched on this channel, even though it's probably one of my biggest personal ones. I think, I mean, I said at the start of the year, one of my goals is to have a 200K investment portfolio by the end of the year. So yeah, it's just, I'd recommend get reading into it because the early year start, you don't even need to do a lot. It's not like hard getting financially secure over life. It's more just like if you start early and you're consistent, that's all you got to do. It doesn't have to be a shit ton of money you're saving and investing, but if you're just early and consistent, because if you don't know if with finance, it's all about compounding. The more time you have to grow, the more and more you'll grow. Like the difference between saving something for 10 years versus 20 years, just it's insane. It just, it, it's like exponential how much you get back uh, the DLA you start. So I'm not going to give any formal advice now. I might think of a script and like write up so I can be sure and reference things so you can... I can you can trust me but yeah maybe if you if you're looking for book ideas maybe look at personal finance because I think it's very important for setting yourself up for security I've got some topics I'll talk about next week when I'm not feeling uh like this and I don't hear a constant in my ears but yeah maybe we'll leave that join the discord send me emails as well if you want uh I still look through those if you if you do send them I don't always respond but if I get a good question might hit a might strike a nerve might 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 lure me in then I'd be more than happy to make a, a video about it. but no I think we'll leave it there I hope you're doing well I hope you're doing well. I'm doing okay. I'm in a bit of a rut right now, as I was saying, but once we get back on the running, I think everything will fall back into place. So yes, join the Discord uh, and we can, we can maybe we can all set some goals for April 13th, I believe the date is. But yeah, I'll leave it there. I hope you're doing well and farewell, Elite Level Gamer.